Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim. I hope that you are comfortable. Go grab some popcorn if you would like it because today we are going to tame the demon goats of Shubnigaroth in a large map. So it's going to be a little bit of, um, you know, exploration today. Yes, the monsters recently found in the cathedral ruins. We are well versed, I assure you. They're not strange. They're black goats of Shabnigaroth. We've already confirmed this. They don't look like they were created by Koshe. Nah, Shabnigaroth. The so called black goats, yeah. Where could they have come from? I told you. Shabnigaroth. Okay, I'll stop saying that now. We're avoiding engagement if at all possible for now. She's asking us to engage the black goats in battle and provide our analysis. Sure, I can tell you a lot about them already, but... I shall gather as much information as I can, Stella. Alright. And before we head out real quick, just need to check something. Because it's been a few days. Haha! -ha. Shadow Raid, rank 4. We're almost there to the level cap. It's going to be 4,000 gold. To go to the next level. And did I buy everything? I did. Good. We can begin our exploration of the Forbidden Zone. Because this is a large map, I'm going to take a sizable amount of food. This much? Sure. I'm actually bringing potions this time. I'm actually bringing bandages this time. Continue with the seeds. And I don't think we need anything else. So we shall go... With this, once I've corrected the formation. <laughs> Almost went ahead with the wrong formation. But everything here is still the same. The way it should be. The way that we want it to be. Hopefully, everything sounds okay. I did have to... Uh, Remodify a few things because I had a massive Windows update. And as anyone knows, whenever you're dealing with large updates, they tend to change your settings without asking you. It's very rude. I don't appreciate it at all, Microsoft. But tis what we have to deal with. So hopefully, everything still sounds okay. If it doesn't, please let me know. And I will attempt to remedy it. So we found one of the wooden chests. This is a very inconvenient path to walk. You're going to maybe go back up, aren't you? Okay, we want to do this. Then we'll go here and boop. Hmm. I'm getting a very big Diablo feeling here. Oops. Is he right in front of me? Yeah, okay. I couldn't tell if he was in front of me or Jason. So far, this is about what we've expected, come to expect from this area. Nothing too alarming. Although I would love... Hmm. What's more of a threat here? I think... The bleeding thing? The teeth? Wow. We are not doing well here. Don't you dare. All right, that's not good. Our formation has been kind of messed up. We are going to heal Yamato here because the brand is not good. That is a lot of bleeding. We could try a stun again, but I think we just have to start killing stuff. That's fine. As long as Satu is not hit again, good. Good, 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 good. How big is this? Quite large. So we're going to pop our first Shadow Raid. And Evelyn... Evelyn is going to attempt to assist Yamato, I think. The well, Holy Guard. We will heal. How does this work again? We're going to be greedy. Sounds good. So here's the way the greed play goes. All damage is being redirected to Evelyn. So that means we use this bandage. 
remove the bleed, and we deal lots of damage for being at low health. Tis the plan. We aren't moving again because... We need Satu to do Shadow Raid again. Well, we don't need her to. But I would like it if she did. Please punch. We need to find a way to get Evelyn more hit rating because of all of the characters present, she misses the most. Ah, we got the second Shadow Raid. You're all doomed now. We're going to bring a heal to Evelyn. We're still attempting to get... There we go. One moment. My apologies, my pharmacy called me. <laughs> Alright, so let's just start killing things. And do not worry, everything is alright. They're just letting me know that my prescription is ready, which I appreciate. Alright, so we're going to begin healing Yamato. Get him ready for uh, the next fight. Ah, so close. Although, you know, she doesn't really get anything for killing people, so... Evelyn didn't need the kill. We do have an unignited flower below us. And I think we should go that way, actually. Trying to explore intelligently. Something's there. What do you mean, something's there? There? I don't think so. Uh, let's bring out Evelyn again. Start smashing. Smash. Haha, we have found an enemy fleeing us. They flee before our presence. So let's go zap them. More black goats. It doesn't matter what they do as long as they don't do that. Actually, this is still okay. The power of positioning. We're going to start killing the goats. We aren't going to stun here. Not stun. Uh, taunt. Don't you dare stun Ebony. Good. Um, I guess I just shield shock this. That's fine. He is on Satu, as always. Our priority remains unchanged. We won't be able to Shadow Raid again, but I don't think we'll need to. I hope not. We might be able to kill this one. Go, Yamato! Perform your duties. Um, I'm going to use tentacles. On the tentacles. I could have healed Kuno there, but I think Kuno's okay. Between a taunt and a brand, they probably shouldn't focus her. So we can stun this guy. I might be able to kill him. Probably not, though. No, we'll pull him into place, and hopefully Satu can kill him. Good job, Satu. Making me proud. Now we'll heal Kuno up. All things in time. You probably can't kill anyone. So we'll just give him a good poke. Try not to waste that precious key. Wow. We should be able to kill this with release power. Yeah, we're hitting for 300 without buffs. That feels good. I didn't fuse her weapon all the way. I actually don't remember how much I fused it. I fused, I fused it a little bit. But we got her that epic weapon at the end of last episode. From the boss itself. Koshe was very kind to me. I'm going to sit here and let this come to me, I think. What do we got? Ah, easy peasy. 
We're going to try and get some stuns rolling, though. Mm. So don't like three of them going in a row because of this. This should be okay? Oh. I was going to say, this should be okay if it hits. It starts getting complicated if it doesn't. Okay, just cannibalism. We're good. The only way this could go wrong is if Satu gets stunned here. They went for Yamato. Good. You have come to your death. We are going to need to get some support here on Yamato, though. A lot of support here on Yamato. Good dodges, everyone. Making me proud. Am I bold enough to taunt? <laughs> no, 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 no. We block, we heal. Tis the plan. Um, we'll go ahead and collect, collect spirits here. Hopefully you guys can't hear the outside. It's very loud. Now the plan here is we boosted the speed of... Satu. So that she goes first next turn. Good. Or aren't you just going to guard here with Eveline? I could have used this consumable, I suppose. Mwahaha. <laughs> Alright. Now we should be smooth sailing. Somehow that connected. Yamato, please. I really needed that to connect. I mean, not really, really. You know what I mean. Let's just start taking them down. Uh, you're still guarding. Actually, we're going to be extra, extra precautious. No one touches my Satu. Brought Yamato up to full again. The reflected stun got Evelyn, but the base stun did not get Yamato. And he secured the kill, finally. We'll just keep hitting this one. We'll try and give that kill to Satu. Evelyn needs the heal first. How did you connect that? You have like minus 90 hit rate. Can I see how low it is? Oh, minus 57, never mind. Now it makes sense. Alright, we're gonna use this turn to. These few turns. To heal up a little bit. Nah, so let's wait one more turn. So we'll st restore some mana all around and heal up. Make ourselves feel a little better about the situation, you know? Back to protecting. Good dodge, Akasha. Uh, we'll guard. Because I think her getting mana back is more important. Mostly important. We got the souls, and now we can move on to collect our rewards. Hmm. I can't tell if that invisible thing is in the way or not. So we're going to be super precautious. Precautious? Super cautious. I'm having a hard time speaking. I'm just so nervous. We do have a lot of food here. Although Evelyn has not been missing. She's been doing me proud. There are many, many enemies here. Come at me. I'll take you all on. Satu being this slow is kind of... Well, she's going second. Is that slow? I don't know. Good bleeding resist though, Kuno. But in, in an ideal world, Satu either goes first or as close to first as possible. So, me. Speed's one of those things that I always underestimate. Like, how useful is speed really going to be? Well, when you start dying really fast. Turns out speed's pretty useful. Let's see if we can get rid of this spider. Good job. She still looks a bit too pleased whenever she gets, you know, hit. 
We'll see if we can take out the bleeding guy this turn, but we probably won't be able to. Nah. We'll just set Santo up for the kill here. Minus 64%. Wow. And you still aren't going to be able to kill- Oh, you hit him. Good. Maybe we should have stunned. Ah, oh, well. It probably doesn't matter. Well. Good job, Yamato. I am going to want to remove this bleed, though. I tried to kill that thing. Ow. Just continue to nerf his hit into oblivion. Part of me wants to see how low it can go. Because I actually don't know. Is this a 90 bleed? Holy crap. Alright. Wow. We want to try and remove all of this if possible. Well. Just give him the key. We can, of course, use a bandage if we deem that helpful. It is Akasha. We're going to use a potion here. Okay. This should be good. We should be fine. Oh, it's easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Although, if each of them do a bleed for 90, that's a lot. There's an 84 bleed. And a 90 bleed. Well. I wonder if we can kill him. Not when he's guarding. Okay. Don't hit Santu. <sighs> Sun was resisted, though. But uh, we're going to have to holy guard her. No chances. It is a little unfortunate. Do I have to remove Eveline's bleed? Is that the way I play this? With Santu, we can always remove the bleed her turn. Well, at this rate, I should have just healed. That is a massive bleed. I have to remove it. It's like 200. I can, however, kill this. 400. A little bit of an overkill, but hey, I'll take it. Give her the kill. Big heal on Eveline. I need to heal a few people here. But I think that was the right move. I think. And all this damage brings up the point, again, of should I bring a defensive ability for Evelyn, such as... Such as. Huh. <laughs> Such as Divine Hands. Sorry, I was calculating. <laughs> Is this going to kill you? It might. Okay. We have a few problems. <laughs> I did that to try and position myself so I could remove both bleeds at once. Instead, what we've ended up in is a sketchier situation. It's okay. Let's bring out Akasha. Let's get some divine healing. Why are you moving that way? Oh, I can't move this way. Sorry. All right. We'll restore some food here. He's going to move at me. 
We have restored formation. Everyone has full health thanks to the divine blessing. And we are good. I mean, that's a lot of bleeding, but we're good. Because Saptu is going second. Well, second in our roster. Third, technically. Come on, Yamato. 70... 79. Ow. <laughs> Gonna put a big heal on Evelyn. Even though, trust me, I want to heal Satu. Life's simple joys. You know, little critter, I have a feeling that Akasha's simple joys are very different from your simple joys. Thank you for the souls, though. I really appreciate that. That feeling when you have so much attack power on your sister that you can just survive through bleeds. Feels good. I think we're back in the correct position as well. But I will just press the button just to make sure. This could be dumb. This could be great. It was kind of dumb. I think that... Oh, crap. I think that if you initiate with the Ronin's... The Ronin's Enlightenment, that you should get... Oh, boy. That you should get an extra... A bonus to your initiative. That's where I was going with that. So, Evelyn's tanking. <laughs> Okay, Kasha. I need the biggest heals. I mean, that's pretty good. I don't know if it's good enough, though. Ooh, the taunt coming in. Yamato? Please. Ooh, is that one health? Uh, okay. I really needed that to be a kill, but it should be fine. Yes. Excellent. Okay. We're gonna block. Uh, with our one health. Okay. Mm Part of me wonders if it's even worth hitting sometimes, you know? Because the the downside of missing is so incredibly severe. Who's going to regain some mana? She's pretty low. And that will allow me to shadow raid again. Minus 96. You like to see it. You love to see minus 96. Now, if only that included if reductions to... In evasion. Yamato, you aren't supposed to be being hit right now. Alright, let's clean up this mess. We'll heal Yamato, let him get the final kill to restore his key. Assuming he hits. There we go. It might be worth leveling up Strike. It has such a huge, just a massive base hit rating. I wonder what it would be like if I leveled it up. The heck is this? Minor Corridor? Oh, I saw the enemy and I thought it was going to attack me. But hey. It's a good thing I didn't walk past this, huh? Or just keys and loot galore. I do like loot. We have four wooden keys at the moment. This one is scared. Don't worry, little dude. I'll put you out of your misery. Do we try and stun? Do we try and stun? 
capture. Hey, success! I'll give this done a whirl. Minus 101. Well, that's rude. I might be removing that. Give him a good punch. See if we can kill the spider. Probably can't, though. Hmm. I tried. I gave it the good old college try. Now, I really want to stun using my turn here. Might even kill it. But I think I need to remove this bleed before it becomes unmanageable. Good dodge. I was kind of hoping you would kill it, but I would have had to crit or something. Oh well, that just means there are going to be two deaths here. Maybe not. I'll get rid of it. Wow. Okay, never mind. Not getting rid of it. But it's not going to hit anyway. Stun the teeth. Since this guy currently has diminishing returns. Alright. Let's get rid of some of these. I am a little worried. That the day will come when they go, you know what? We think... We think Shadow Raid's too overpowered. And then they nerf it. And my entire strategy has been abusing the crap out of it. How do I go forward from there? I don't know. Hopefully it never comes to that. Um... You just... Look cute, I guess. Why not? We'll give Yamato the kill on the teeth. 74. 90. Yeah, I think I'll look into upgrading strength. Whoosh. And these are randomly generated maps, right? We found the golden ch one of the golden chests. We got the divine magical robe. So if we ever return to using Leilani, she has a nice piece of gear. Many enemies. Many enemies. Part of me wonders if I don't fight this one. If I just go after the, the red one. No. We fight. We are here to slay our foes. And examine them. We must bring as many samples to Stella as possible. Smack that spider. Good kill. Wow. See if we can stun this now. Hey, good job, Eleni. Give him the tentacle. He should be pretty familiar with tentacles, though, because he works with them, you know? Well, works with might not be the correct terminology. Is in the same dungeon as? I'll just poke that. That's what I thought. I don't really need to do anything to this, right? It's about to die. No one needs the kill either. Hmm. Get it. <laughs> you did it, Akasha. Add it to your list of victims. I was going to be slightly irritated if that was a bleed. But we're good. Although we do have a foe before us. If I pick this up, he's going to be able to attack me. Come here. Wait, this is a tiny ball? Four black goats? Well, three black goats and a, a sork that might be dead. Good. Yes, hit Yamato. Hit Yamato. Hit him harder. Good. <laughs> Usually never happy to see a leg yank. 
But they did it. They hit Yamato. Let's get some stuns rolling. And keep this train a moving. We're 30 minutes in, and I have no idea how far along we are. But I shall continue forwards. Maybe I should have uh, guarded there. Nah, whatever. All of the pokes. I might kill it. Good job. I'll just collect some souls. Not a whole lot else going on. You can replenish some mana, because you probably won't be able to stun this thing. That was guarding. Very rude of it. We're actually in the perfect formation to avoid the stuns. Oddly enough. Not that any of them are going to live long enough. We will give this to Satu. Replenish her souls, even though I don't know where the enemies are. Continuing my perfectionism. Good job, Satu. Alright. What do we got? More... Oh. <laughs> I tried walking past the keys. Okay. We continue a pace. I saw the sparkly, so I knew we'd be safe. We have a blue foe running away from us. I'm going to eat, just in case. <laughs> my sen my spidey senses senses were tingling. I knew it. See if I can get a triple or a stun here with both of them. That would be nice. Eh, of course not. Ah well. Oh, Yamato is not in the correct position. Awkward. Awkward. Uh, let's move. I thought about not moving, but him not using Bloodthirsty Sword is a little sketchy. Just a little bit. Not that much. A little bit. Good dodge, though. We should be able to kill the sorcerer easy now. Hmm. We got the Shadow Raid off. Even though Akasha being stunned is a little unfortunate. Not the end of the world. Let's see if we can start cleaning this up. Show me the reason you brought Holy Smite Cross. That's the reason. That and the ability to reposition is powerful. Even though I wonder more and more if I should bring her defensive. Although I don't think Evelyn knows Divine Hands. That could be a problem. No enemies, but a silver key. Do I? I'm going to eat this one. Because we're going to try and begin conserving more of our food. Hmm. I would love to fly forward. Makes me very happy. We found the exit. Okay. We shall give our blood to reignite the fire. Well, the light. What was up here? We have a key for this chest. Any enemies? Nope. And that is the entrance. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Decrease my luminosity. See if I care. I'm next to a flower. Might end up using a seed, though. We have found an enemy that does not want to fight us. Well, we're attacking one of them. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Be stunned by my snake eyes. No. 
Wrong person. No hitting Satu. I will permit you to hit anyone else on my team. Preferably not Kuno, but you get my point. Good dodge, Kuno. She heard my preferably not Kuno part. We could kill the Sork. We could leave it to Yamato, which is probably the better of ideas. Which means we just roll the dice here. Ooh. I'm impressed. He had stun resistance and he still got stunned. Get wrecked. What does your protection matter to me? I'm just gonna hit everyone. I could even steal his protection if I felt like it. But let me just make it clear that I didn't feel like it. I don't have to heal anyone either, so... You guys are getting owned. A little bit of reflection back on me, but hey. Kuno can take it. Is that an enemy? That is an enemy. We are at the last silver chest. So he has to come over to me. Okay, one of these formations. One of everything. It wasn't quite sure what to bring, so it brought one of everything. The good old 1 1 1 build. That's pretty good in Dawn of War 2 last I played. I don't think it is anymore, though. Shadow Raid! Deliver me to the end. <laughs> I think I'm more interested in stunning the teeth here. Me and no like bleedy. Well, the awkward stipulation of Stable Cloud is kind of annoying here. It means I can't target myself. Even though the area of effect part of it will affect me. I just can't use myself as the main target. Minor detail, but still annoying. More taunt. And give Santu the kill. To replenish her souls. We'll try and give Yamato the next kill. Or one of the kills. Akasha is a little low and that concerns me a little bit. But not horribly. Not horribly concerning. Well, we are going to heal with Akasha and hopefully give this kill to Yamato. Hopefully. Good. Well, this has become an awkward moment where we're going to have to keep passing the turn until Yamato gets the kill. It's just the way it is. So I'm sorry. Well. Even more awkward now, because I would love to remove that bleed. <laughs> but I'm not going to use a bandage on it. Just get rid of the bleeds. Don't bleed another person. And then kill. Very straightforward. Well, I think we messed up the part about don't bleed another person. But other than that, this has gone swell. Uh, she'll be fine. We even have a potion for her. Was oh, this the dead end? Huh. Alright. We'll just leave him there. Ooh, if I go flying... Yeah, we'll leave that thing there. This could be a little awkward if we hit something. Oh my goodness, we went way farther than I thought we would. I mean, it was fun. That was not the distance <laughs> that I wanted. We can actually leave now. We have completed our quest and need to complete a little bit more. You can flee. I don't care about you. 
Your existence is irrelevant to me. Journals. Journals are amazing. Try to never pass up an opportunity to collect journals. But we have reached our completion. Let's see. One last fight. One last fight. Bring us in, Kuno. Take us home. To glory. Oh, and it's the easiest fight of the day. Come here. Let me stun you. Full confidence. No. Oh. He had the same idea, though. But it matters not. Because Satu has made her move. And now we're good. So I hope this has been somewhat fun. I always enjoy large maps. Well, a little bit of a mixed feeling. Both enjoy because, you know, they're like the hardest content that I can access, that I have access to. But also fear because I have no idea how long it's actually going to be and it could just be a really boring episode. And I always try to avoid those. <laughs> I do my best to keep it entertaining. Hopefully you guys can tell. <laughs> Final dodge to bring it home, Yamato. And there's Kuno, getting the killing blow as always. Alright. With 104% completion rate, we shall return home to report our progress. Satu and Evelyn are now rank 8. Everyone is at the max of this zone. Yeah. Mighty bad luck. Inflict damage to 100% of your attack on enemies in one column and forcibly move them back one tile. Eh. Meh. I mean, we could activate it if I if we wanted to. Believe Aegis. I've actually never used that. Could be cool. I think it's a shield, right? Well, the Doomsday God was not amused, but also not vexed. So win-win. Hello, Stella. I am here to report about the Black Goats of Shobun Niggeroth. I gathered a lot of information, if I do say so myself. You share with Stella the information you gathered during the battle. A lot of it. Our diligence has provided them with very helpful insights. You are most welcome. I'm here to be insightful, amongst other things. You've learned something about the monsters Koshe summoned. What did you learn? When he was suppressing the pagans, Koshe stumbled upon the Book of Ivory. He then used it to establish contact with a pagan goddess. Okay. After that, he started worshipping the so-called Black Goddess of Earth, and was able to borrow her energy for his own purposes. Okay, a little less cosmic than Shobnigaroth, but same principle. It's also given the ability to summon monsters, including the Black Goats. The Black Goats seem to get their name from their origins. They are, in a way, the lambs of the Black Goddess. She's probably not happy that we killed a bunch of them then, huh? Thanks for the update. I'll be here if you need me. 7,000 gold, wow. So the next quest... You guessed it. It's the final boss of the area. We're actually going to have a half episode before that. But the next quest we take on will be to defeat the Black Goddess. And we'll have to take account of our inventory before then. Hmm? I hope you look forward to it and I will see you then. Bye-bye.